Hello, I'm Edward Tart, math teacher. Behind me is the high school where I taught math for 20 years. Now, as of five years ago, I am retired from classroom teaching and I tutor math privately in students' homes. I tutor a bunch of students who go to this high school. I have for you a math challenge with prizes available if you want it. This challenge is about temperature two systems of designating temperature, the Celsius system, which is commonly used in most of the world, compared with the Fahrenheit system, which is in common use here in the United States. There are formulas that relate to these two systems. If you know a formula like that, please feel free to use it. But if you don't know a formula like that, I invite you to use your own inner resources only without looking up anything based on the information I'm about to give you, information which you may already know. First, freezing. <clears throat> Zero degrees Celsius equals 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And secondly, boiling. 100 degrees Celsius equals 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Now here is the challenge. It consists of four questions. You could of course work on any one or more of them. First question. At what temperature is the Celsius reading the same as the Fahrenheit reading? <clears throat> question number two. At what temperature is the Celsius reading double the Fahrenheit reading? Question number three. At what temperature is the Fahrenheit reading double the Celsius reading? And finally, question number four. If we take as normal body temperature 98 and 6 tenths degrees Fahrenheit, what is the Celsius reading for that temperature? <clears throat> if you can answer any one or more of these, uh, I would be happy to know what your answers are. But please do not post them here at the comments section of this video. Instead, go to my profile page, click on Send Message, and message me whatever answers you have. If you answer all four of these questions correctly on your first try and did not look up any formulas or other pertinent information, I will be happy to give you a prize if you want a prize. And the prize that I offer is an, a selection from my archives of me playing my piano, an audio file that I recorded many years ago. It will very likely be a selection that I played at this high school's talent show many, many years ago. If you need help deciding whether you want a prize, you can find at my profile page my piano videos playlist and watch one or more of them. If you want the prize, be sure to include your email address. In any event, I hope that you have enjoyed this video and that if you work on the challenge, it will give you mental stimulation and pleasure. Thank you for watching this video.